Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell. Yoli updates. Really excited for today's beer. It's actually the first homebrew I've ever reviewed on the channel, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, it's from Eclipse Brewing. Uh, Steven sent this out to me. So uh, he's an avid home brewer, um, and he sent me two different beers. This is the first one I'm doing, and he decided to join in with the all together, which is really cool. And um, uh, it's a 6.5% India Pale Ale. Um, I've done uh, two live streams of all together beer, so I have had six at this point. Um, and if I remember it correctly, there were separate recipes for home brewers and production. I don't know how different they are. I don't know if it was just a scale thing or if uh, they tried to pick, uh, you know, easier to get hops maybe for home brewers for the home brewer recipe. So I actually don't know uh, if he did uh, the East Coast or the, like the New England style or the West Coast style. Uh, so yeah, a lot of variables that I don't know, and I kind of wanted to not know. I, you know, I, uh, you know, he let me know he was sending this off. I could have sent him a message asking, but I kind of wanted to go in not knowing. So yeah, really excited to uh, get into this. Decently clean glass for me. <laughs> uh, someone who really struggles to clean their glasses. Um, I mean, four and a half fingers ahead. In a, I think I poured a little aggressively because sometimes, um, you know, not that I've, I've had homebrew before, I just haven't reviewed one, and I don't know. I don't remember the last time I had one actually uh, uh, off camera. But anyway, um, sometimes like carbonation can be an issue, so I kind of wanted to make sure I got you know a head on it, and definitely did. I mean, it's a beautiful yellow color. It's a little bit of orange in the center, but I mean, it's definitely. You know, you're in your hazy, not quite turbid, um, you know, family. So I'm going to assume this is the, the, like the New England style uh, recipe that they gave out. The head, I mean, it's it's beautiful. You know, it's white, you know, and it's teeny tiny bubbles. They're starting to break up into, you know, small, some medium bubbles. But uh, yeah, I mean, that definitely, you know, if you're talking about a beer, you know, what it should look like, it's spot on. Let's get the aroma. This actually reminds me of one of the ones we did on the live stream. I forget which brewery, or were there two of them, that had a lot of, of a, a lemon zest to it. I'm definitely getting that. It was, a, I think it was the first two we did on the live stream that uh, was on my channel. And I cannot feel like, it was not Trillium. I know that it was um, the other two that Sean from NerdSense had sent. And you know, we talked a lot about the lemon characteristic, and this has that, and it's it's really reminiscent of that. I do get some soft orange in it, but I mean it's really it's very lemony and, and but it does have a little bit more citrus with that orange, and I just I feel bad that I keep saying the lemon thing because it makes it sound one note. There's a brightness, there, there's a, a little bit of um, of like a, a I don't want to say cut grass, but there, there, there's an outdoorsy like, straw kind of a thing maybe is better than, than cut grass. Kind of reminds me of a couple of the Pilsers I've had lately. So you're, you're getting the citrus, uh, that zest IPA thing, and then you're getting a little bit of, yeah, like that Pilsnery straw thing, which when they come together, I mean, it smells super refreshing. Let's get to the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Steven. I'll tell you what, that taste follows the nose really well. Wow. Okay, so. <laughs> this is really good. Um, so I did a la live stream last night uh, doing like an unboxing, including this beer. And, um, you know, I made it known that this was my first time doing a homebrew. And Matt from Massive Beer Reviews, you know, has done homebrews. And he's like, you are you might have um, a compulsion to be like, you know, to go easier on, on it because it's a homebrew, right? But... Probably someone sending you a homebrew really wants you to, um, 
you know, d dive into it. If, if anything, be hypercritical, like, you know, because they're trying to get better at their craft, right? I mean, all breweries are trying to do that as well, but a home brewer perhaps, uh, uh, you know, has less of a, uh, a tasting panel, you know, back when you could go to a, a bar easily or a brewery easily, you could kind of talk to customers about your beers, get a lot of feedback, right? Home brewers, you know, have to kind of maybe be in a part of a home group, home brew club or whatever to kind of get tasting notes, different people's thoughts, etc., etc. I'm rambling, ran it back in. So I'm like, that's really good advice because I could see myself trying to go easy on it. Um, excuse me, of the seven I've had at this point, this is easily the top half. And it is very much that lemon zest without being overly done. Um, it does have some orange to it, which is really nice. And it's, I do, as much as it does follow the nose, I, I think I get a little bit more orange than I got in the aroma, which is good because it doesn't come across as like lemon water or pledge or whatever, because you do have some of that orange or, or more of that orange, I should say, should say. And then you are getting that refreshing straw it doesn't drink like a pilsner but it's the best thing i can get it like when you drink a pilsner and you have that straw element this has that element without other things you get in a pilsner it has good mouthfeel especially for 6.5 right It has what I think is a uh, is an um, I can't talk is an I don't want to say adequate but has a right level of bitterness but because of that orange citrus and the lemon you know it does have juicy elements it's not some big tropical beer it's also not uh, super floral or herbal um, it is like super refreshing I spent most of the day outside today and this is um this is the kind of beer you want to and it's you know it wasn't overly hot this is the kind of beer you want on a hot day when you're outside you know good lower ABV it's not you know up in the um you know double IPA range or whatever um you know, it's it's got it's got the flavor. It's it's refreshing. I, I I'm really the reason I'm still talking, if I'm being honest, is I'm trying to think of, uh, of, something like oh, I wish it had more of this or less of this, or whatever. But, and I'm I'm so glad I'm doing this after that second, uh, round of those altogether beers because if I done, did this after the first one, this would be different. And not that it's a bad thing. It's one of the reasons we wanted to try as many altogether beers as possible is to see how they, people took that recipe, right? The first one, there was citrus, but the intensity of the lemon wasn't as much as those two from the second round we did. So I'm really glad I did this one after the second round because it, it is so much reminding me of those, those two lemon forward ones. Um, yeah, I, I could drink this all day and I'm sorry I don't have more, um, of a critique of you know uh, how, how about this look how, how much head is on this this is ridiculous I, I i gotta sit here and wait for that head to go down before i can drink it i don't know that's about all i got to be honest with you um yeah i could crush these and this is this is easily the top half of the seven i've had so um i, I think that's pretty high praise uh but yeah thanks for saying i really appreciate it and i uh, really said to the the uh, dick hazy uh the other one you sent and uh, yeah, this is awesome, man. I, I hope I did it justice, even though it was basically just me telling you what I got in it and didn't have a lot to like or anything really to you know critique it uh, so much as just kind of tell you what I was getting through, getting from it, and how much I liked what I was getting from it. Um, but yeah, great beer. Thanks for sending it. I'm uh, really excited to go. Uh, I guess I'll see if my wife wants to try some. Uh, but yeah, uh, check me out on Instagram on tap. No hate beer reviews of both those places. Always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, Imbibe. Cheers, everyone.